Channel 4 put another nail in Cranky's coffin. Unbelievable, I'm going to show you a clip at the end of this video of Cranky being interviewed by a journalist on Channel 4. It wasn't enough that she was humiliated, as I brought the video out yesterday, about uh, ITV interviewing her. It now turns out that Channel 4 have done it as well. The worst thing is she tries to justify the claims that she's made in the past that anybody with any ounce of common sense who wants to protect the rights of women and young girls is a transphobe, racist, misogynist and all that. She actually doubles down on it and tries to justify her claims. While strangely at the same time doing a little bit of backtracking. The woman has no grip on reality anymore. She is aimlessly trying to defend this policy that is indefensible. God knows I don't like her, but in the past, she's been one of the slickest operators in the media that you could look well, look around and see. None of the other politicians, other than maybe Boris, had the media skills that she did. Now, that is all falling to pieces. Maybe it's because she's not being given the easy ride that she's used to being given in the past. But I'll let you decide for yourself when you watch her get humiliated once again. The recognition reform bill, a transphobic, misogynistic, homophobic, maybe racist as well. Who are you talking about? Uh, look, I'm not naming individuals, but I, I think everybody, and I was very clear to say that many of the concerns raised about the recent legislation uh, are real concerns, and I am not in any way suggesting opponents of that legislation um, are by definition uh, badly motivated. Some people who are anti-rights for trans people uh, are probably anti-rights for gay people and, and other minorities as well. That is a where, fact. Where, where have you seen these these things? Where, where is this a fact? I, I think anybody who looks at this debate uh, can see that very obviously. Don't you think you're, you're sort of somewhat obliged to substantiate no, that I, sort of comment? You've already said to take the heat out of this and now you're saying some people are racist, homophobes and misogynists. I don't think you have to look very far. I'm talking in general terms and I, I, I actually don't think that is something that is capable of being denied in any uh, real sense.